I'm going to show you how to make a fire in your wood stove, a Blaze King 40 to be exact, because it's a different world with one of these wood stoves. Check it out. Hey girls, check out my wood stove. I'd also like to add that I have my father's gun and a scorching case of herpes. It's freaking freezing in here. It is 38 degrees inside Air Yeti. A bouncy house. Yes. Check it out. I got some hard pipe hitting bros helping me out here building the fire. Okay, this is the Blaze King 40 wood stove. Uh, it's catalytic. <laughs> and versus a secondary. Don't ever buy a secondary. That's all I had most of my life and they suck. <laughs> this portion of off-grid whiskey brought to you by Pepsi. Got a Pepsi in the fridge. Oh, it's not really the same thing now, is it? Always get a glass door because uh, I spend many, many of hours staring into the fire. Dance into the fire. Thank you. View to a kill by Duran Duran. So with the Blaze King, especially the 40, it's so freaking big that I changed my fire building technology. So can you see that? I'm just lining it with like as many pieces as I can. Oh, probably eight. And then I have a juicy center. Let me show you that. That's where I'll put the paper in the juicy center. And then I'll put my dry kindling on top of that. So let's just do it. Of course, you gotta have paper. There's a sale at Panties, yes! There it is. There's my lighter with duct tape. And then here is a, a tire valve remover for, you know, for anything like a pickup. If someone torques you off in the parking lot, always keep a tire valve remover on you. Because you know what? If they charge you, you're not slashing someone's tires. You put the valves back in after the air goes out, all four tires. They come out going, someone slashed my tires. Call the cops. Technically, if they bust you, all you did was let the air out of the tires. Is that a crime? Okay, let's light the fire. Very exciting. I should have one of those long mires. So your thumb isn't like burning. <laughs> like right now, look, my thumb is on fire. You see that? That's really smart. I, it's so cold. Luckily, I can't feel it till about right now. It's scorching like my... Like Cancun foam pit, 1992, the day after. Oh, this is cedar, super dry. Look at that. So right now, this is going to be autopilot. I don't have to do anything but close thy door because I don't want all the smoke. And I'll leave it cracked. Dance into the fire! Yes! Oh, I have the last bend over. So I'm not tossing your salad. I just brought in some fresh wood. And the, with a perimeter of wood, that's starting to burn. I can see it. And then the, the juicy center, once that all turns to uh, hot coals, I'll just add like eight pieces of this, 16 inches, and walk away. Just walk away. Just walk away, and there will be an end to the horror. If you don't have these, Mudflap Girls, uh, that should be a country song, Mudflap Girls. Uh, what good are you? You are nothing but unorganized, grab pieces of amphibian So that's it. That's how you build a fire in a Blaze King 40, especially because in my old wood stoves that were smaller, I never did the lining. The wood lining around the perimeter inside and it just seems to really help accelerate the heat you know you take a shirt and you stuff it down your drawers in the front like this and you walk around and you go hey who am i you know who am I? <laughs> I'm Michael Jackson helping a little kid across the street.